now a show that I'm dying to see that's on in Cape Town at the moment on at the theatre on the bay in Camps Bay is Andre the Hypnotist and our crew were there last week at opening night to see all the action and excitement that comes with this hypnotist take a look hi this is Andre the hilarious hypnotist and I'm live at the theatre on the bay until the 5th of July Take me sorted out, I'll be with you again. Please don't make a noise, I'll get them sorted out, I'll be with you. The question I get asked most often is what is hypnosis? It's probably the one subject that is most mysterious, most shred into, uh, what would I say, uh, mystery and nonsense and fairy tales. A hypnosis natural state, it doesn't belong to the devil, I can't control your mind, I can't make you do things that you wouldn't normally do. As a matter of fact, you hypnotize yourself, so I don't even have anything to do with the process or the result. I just know what to say, where to say, and how to say it. And if you follow along, you go into hypnosis. It's that simple. The problem is people have these perceived notions, people getting stuck in hypnosis, people uh, acting like zombies for the rest of their lives. Uh, the opposite happens. When they're on stage, they're quite surprised and they come off stage and they're like, I know what I did. And it's like, yes, actually, unfortunately you do. <laughs> Gee, just relax and sleep. Go deep. Very deep, it's time to sleep. There's the other side, the more serious side, the medical side of hypnosis, which once again, a lot of people tend to equate with what I do on stage. I don't. Uh, the people that come up on stage know they're going to be a chicken and I'm going to make them act like a dinosaur and speak moon language. Whereas in a therapy situation, the idea is to get a result. So you use hypnosis as part of the therapy. So if you're suffering from depression, for instance, you would use hypnosis in combination with antidepressant drugs, etc., in order to get a cure. If you wanted to stop smoking, what they would do is they would take you off their habit part first so that you don't consider, uh, consistently have to smoke. And then they slowly make the cigarette taste worse and worse and worse until you stop smoking completely. But so instead of going cold turkey, they just kind of slowly wean you off the cigarette. Weight loss, I used to weigh 174 kilograms. Look at me now. I could sleep. When I tell my fingers, you want to wake, when you wake up, the number two is gone. You'll count one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two is gone, it will stay gone until I give it back to you. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do I wake, wake, wake up? How many fingers do you have? Ten. Excuse me? Just <laughs> because you went to university. <laughs> Grab your fingers, start one. One. What? <laughs> three. It's not silence. One. One, three. Five, six. Six on that hand. One, three, four, five, six. Six on that hand. I want my finger back. Sound me. I want my finger back. Pretend you're from Pride on Pain. I want my finger back. You got time to watch your finger. I need it one, yeah. All right, for those of you interested in getting a hold of me, maybe you'd like me at your wedding, cheap divorce, um, maybe you'd like me at your corporate function, uh, you can just visit www.andreonline.co.za. So it's very easy, andreonline.co.za, or you can just Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp.